Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Final Fantasy VIII Remastered. Today, we're going to talk to Piet here. And even though he's saying, you know, he's not mixing card rules right now, we really hope that he uh, decides to eliminate random randomly here. So you talk to him and you do this like a couple of times. And then eventually he'll he'll eliminate something. Open was abolished. Wow, that is exactly not what I wanted to happen. So guess what? <laughs> yeah! Holy shit, sweet! All right, I'm gonna save that because I never want to do that again in my life. Uh, yeah, getting rid of random is what you need to do there. You know what? I'm gonna save over the end of the last episode just in case because this should be recording. You mother it better be recording. All right, it's recording. Great. All right, dog. Hi. I want to play cards. So, we don't have random to worry about anymore. We do have same plus, same wall as well, so that could be a little bit of an issue. Let's go ahead and get our normal cards out that we like to use. Ward's pretty good, too. It's kind of like a reverse selfie, so I guess I'll just use that one. Our bottom could use a bit of work. Yeah, we're fine. Really hoping you were going to play that card there. Hey, that's the card I'm looking for. The Alexander card. All right. So hopefully he doesn't try to plus one us or anything like that. Really? Mother All right. No, that's fine. There's really nothing we can do here. You have no bottom nines. Or A's. Sure. Yeah, let's do this. We just need to take one of its cards. You piece of trash. <laughs> you absolute trash. Uh, you'll be able to take the Cypher card for sure. If I do this. Yeah, but then I take this card and we're good. All right. Yeah. <laughs> good. Let's take this Alexander card. Hey, and now we can actually do that Queen of Cards quest that I was talking about earlier in the game that I thought I could do then. I don't know why I thought I did that, but hey. Hey, at least that plus didn't screw us either, right? That could have been bad. I'll go ahead and save that so I never have to do that again. Uh, in we go. I've talked to my crew. Everything will be all right. Come in, uh, come, let's go to the control room. You know anything to say? No? How about you? You better not do anything to hurt her! Alright, alright. You're her knight in shining honor. Got it. Flippin' weirdo. <laughs> Squall is a little bit on edge right now, right? Uh, definitely save again, even though I just saved. Uh, why? Because we're gonna be playing cards again! Quite soon! And we want to make sure we don't accidentally get plussed into oblivion. Make sure this is actually still recording. Because that would be horrible. <laughs> Alright, just follow Piet. Admiral Piet, by the way. It's a Star Wars reference if you haven't gotten the gist of it yet. Um, do we want to go... No, I don't think we need to do that just yet. We want to come up here, and then we can like, go into this room over here and talk to some people. Hi, what you doing? Basically, there's a 20-minute limit in these suits, along with five extra minutes of air for emergencies. Okay, good to know. I don't know, you know, I don't really get that, right? I know, I, having an emergency air supply is good. Damn, I need a space suit. But, what, shouldn't it be automatic? Should it else? Uh, it'll sail be broken. Who knows what chaos may occur? I know, right? 17 years ago, Estar was a country ruled by the evil Adele, uh, Adel, and feared by many. <laughs> this guy's like, I'm not tethered to anything! Help! The perfect gravitational balance between the moon and the stars makes this an ideal place to see uh, Adel in her power. That's Adel's tomb. The sailing mechanism is made of a special material. It seals Adel's powers and at the same time prevents any means of outside contact. Radio waves, sound waves, telepathic wave junctions, you name it. The signals from our wave jamming system are so powerful that it affects radio waves down on the planet. 
If she were if she were to revive, it'd be a nightmare just like 17 years ago. That's why we're doing everything we can to keep her under control. That's the Sorcerer's War they're talking about. Look! That's the President going out to conduct an inspection personally. What you see out there is his work. Incredible, isn't it? He was responsible for containing Adel. We've maintained a tight surveillance over her ever since then. Alright, keep going down here. Oh, hi, Alone! How's it going? Play me in cards. God damn it. And give me the card that I want right off the bat. We could talk to her and be friendly and say hi and everything like that. Ah, oh, ah, oh, alone. Thank you. Thank you so much. Alright, now we just need to not get plus into oblivion and we should be fine. How am I gonna do this? <laughs> I don't think I can do this. Yeah, alright. Well, I'll be back! Oh, you son of a bitch. I actually was about to flip my lid again because I thought she actually had plussed me into oblivion again. But no, she didn't. Oh, alone. <laughs> oh, hi. Squall, I'm so happy to see you again. I'm not. Me too. I'm so sorry I get you involved in so many things, so many hardships. It's all right. I'm used to disappointment in my life. I understand. I understand what you were trying to do. Were we of any help? Of course, you were my eyes. Thanks to you guys, I saw I was able to see how much I was loved. I couldn't change the past, but just seeing it was more than enough. Thank you so much. It's okay, I just I came here because I need your help. You said you can't change the past, right? You can find out things about the past that were you were never knew, and from what I, you've learned, you may see some things differently in the present. You're the one that changes, not the past. Really? There's no way to change the past. No, I want to find out myself. Okay. Take me to Renoa's past. I need to see the past through Renoa. I want to find out what happens to her. And I want to try to warn her. You want to save her. You don't want to lose Renoa. Squall, I can't. I don't know Renoa. I told you I can only send people I know in, in the present to people I, know, I knew in the past. I brought Renoa in it with me. She's resting in the med lab. Please come with me. You with us? All right. Yeah, you can still challenge her to cards, but unfortunately, I believe by the time we get down to nearest save point, uh, it's too late. <laughs> like you can't actually save with her in your party. Uh, the, the 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 control command. This place. This is the one where Piet, Piet was like, "Hey, like come visit us." Wow, we're like by the moon. Uh, this is no time to be impressed. Look at the monitor there. What? What? Hi, how you doing, Piet? Sorry I kind of left there. Look at the surface of the moon. Hello? Hmm. Is that... Is that jam? Have we been jammed? Lone Star. The hell is this? Oh, gross! Are those all monsters? The lunar world is the world of monsters. Didn't you learn that in school? No, I just learned that like five minutes ago, even though I already knew that. As you can see, the monsters are gathering at one point. History is about to repeat itself. The lunar cry is starting. Uh, see them clustering? Yeah. It's called the lunar cry. Hey, alone, do you know what that is about? Okay, let's go see Renoa. That's what you came here for, right, Squall? Alright. Actually, that's not supposed to happen. Wait a minute. Hey, I thought you wanted to see... Yeah, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought there was an event that happened here. I guess we just gotta keep going. Maybe it plays out when we come down here. It's playing out. All right. I thought this happened when we were in the control room, which I think I just called the control command center. Ah. The elevator music.
What's going on? Red alert! Red alert! All units report to Medlab. Stat. Medlab. Renoa. I'll check it out. It doesn't look good. Alone. You better go wait in the control room. Okay, be careful, alright? Selfie. Take care of Alone. Okay! I gotta go look at the moon some more. Maybe there's trains on it. Hi. Oh, hi. Hey, Renault. How's it going? Hug? Ow. No? That's rude. Renault, what happened to you? You alright? Are you dead? Hey, did you kill him? Ow. My back. Alright, well, she's walking really slow, so let's just kind of run ahead of her. And she should just magically appear on the next screen. Uh, Renoa? What are you doing, girl? There you are. Hi! Uh, you're not gonna throw me against the wall? Bah! Alright, let's come up here now. Wait. Hello? Did she already go? God dang it! Uh, where the hell did she go? Did she go to the control room? Oh, she must have went to the control room. Right, she comes here late. Spoiler! I think she goes there, yeah. Oh, there she are. She got freaking slamming the through Squall, oh, help Renoa! No! Renoa? That's Adele's, an Adel's tomb sealed deactivation device. Why would you even have that? Level 1 sale has been deactivated. Seriously, why would you have that? Hi, ow! Dude, if you never meant to unseal her, then don't have a de deactivation device. Why would you do that? It's not like she's gonna change her opinions on things. She's gonna be like, hey, I'm still a powerful sorceress who's bent on world domination and, you know, destruction if they don't bow to me. Look, look, there's something crazy happening on the moon. You alright? Beetle's gonna revive the seal's broken. Yeah. Nice camera. Kind of looks like a deformed dragonfly. I mean, technically that's a satellite, Kronos. Eh, it's a camera. Eh, creepy. It's overflowing with monsters. It's finally starting! The Luna Cry. If that's the case, we definitely have to stop her. If she plans to free Adel, she'll have to do go out there. The level 2 seal is located on Adel's tomb. Alright. Anything? No? Alright. Goodbye! Now we need to go to where those spaceships... Not spaceships. Space suits are located. How you doing, dog? Look, the moon! No, that's Earth. You can tell by how flat it is. Kinky. Oh! That was a good transition! Some of these monsters likely look very familiar. Others, not so much. Roar. So what do you guys eat up here? Because there's nothing on the moon. Do you just eat moonstones? Evolve into like a fable? Or like Wigglytuff? <gasps> Nido King! But like seriously, what the hell do you guys eat up here? Oh, so that's disgusting. Like a di giant zit full of monsters. You know... Kid me was like, man, I would have loved to live in a world full of magics and swords and monsters and shit like that. Adult me knows that he would probably spend most of his time crying and shitting himself if he was in a world like this. Oh, by the way, she went into this room over here. How you doing? Yeah, we can't have uh, Adel revive. No way. Renoa! It's like, screw you, I'm gone. 
How you doing? I'm just gonna take this spacesuit. There you go. Renoa! God, I can't control. There we go. Here we go. How do I run? I don't think there is a run. Hey, you three! Grab her! The flood monster's drawing near Edel's tomb. Hey, President, dude! She just ran into you, and you just... You just let her go! I can't go any further. Well, why is everything happening all at once? Well, good job. You let her go. This is crazy. It's like so unplanned, this whole thing. That would be absurd. How would they know we were going to bring Renoa into space? Who could have set this up? Like, how would they know that Adi is going to be like, hey, we need to go to... Yeah, so is her result of Yeah, I know, right? We need to go to Estar uh, to, like, seal my power. And they probably know how to actually save Renoa as well. But how would you know that we're going to bring him to space? Are you saying they read the script? It's much too dangerous now. We must leave Lunar Base at once. Uh, we have to evacuate. Please hurry to the pod. Ah, forget about me. Just go. Please, sir. We must hurry. <laughs> ah! <laughs> hey, you, uh, take care of alone. Ah! Sounds familiar. So I think we just need to go back to the control room, or do we need to go... Where do we need to go? Hey, what are you guys doing? Oh gosh, the Luna Cry is starting. Renoa's gonna be swallowed by the flood of monsters. Renoa, stop! Damn it, the seal's gonna be broken. But seriously, why have the de deactivation devices on her? Like, say, like you're never gonna let her free. Like, this isn't rehabilitation. This is sealed permanently. They sealed her. I think it gets explained later, because they didn't want her power to like. I don't know if this is a spoiler. It might be a spoiler, so I'll, I'll explain later. Still, like, if you have no plans of freeing her. Why have a deactivation device? That's just dumb. Also, how would you stop that from happening? Because, like, the Lunar Cry is a natural event that happens. Like, they've explained it. Sometimes, the Lunar Cry happens. Uh, it can be escalated with the Lunatic Pandora. But how, how can you avoid even just, like, a... 0.001% chance of the Luna Cry happening in front of Adel's tomb. Can you move it? Because if it happens in front of Adel's tomb, that thing's gonna go crashing down and it hurts inside. Dun 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 dun. dun. Then she comes out all acting like Hal Hulk Hogan. Come on, we have to evacuate. What about Renoa? We can't just leave her. What are we gonna do? Uh, alone. Squall, you should be protecting Renoa, not me. Well, she's currently not here alone. Thanks for bringing that up. You're the only thing on her mind right now. I'm pretty sure the only thing on her mind is being controlled by Ultima Sia. She's calling you. Alone, take me to Renoa, please. Next, hurry up. I don't know if I can send you. I don't know. I mean, you didn't actually meet her. You saw her. Like, you need to... What is what is meeting constitute, right? Just seeing someone, having a conversation with someone, getting to know them over time? Like, it's kind of vague. I'm assuming in Malone's case, it's just kind of seeing them in person, given the game, but still. Yeah, when I take over the world, this is how I want my entrance to be. I want to be sealed in space before a gusher of monsters brings me back down to Earth. And I get these little ray lights. 
How does, oh, well, now the gal baddie is there. That's how they know how to do that. I was going to say, how does the lunatic Pandora know how to do this? Right? <laughs> you know, I should save. Pretty sure, even if I mess something up, they let me retry. But at the same time, I don't want to accidentally be proven wrong on that one. I, mean, I have a hashtag for that shit. Hi, Selfie. How's it going? It's not fair, Renoa. Can't we do anything? How about you, Piet? Life support system in that suit lasts 20 minutes. The reserve tank will leave her an extra five at most. It's unfortunate, but it can't be helped. God! Renault's gonna die! I can't take it! Alone, please! I never felt this way before in my life! Take me to Renault to her past! Okay. It may not work, but we'll try, okay? What if it doesn't work, though? Does my consciousness just go out and, like, into La La Land? Come on, we have to go now! Alright. Woo! Also gotta be horrifying. Oh, the whole Lunar Station's being engulfed by freaking the, the Lunar uh, Cry. That's not good. I'm assuming you'd be able to move that too no, under normal circumstances, but still. Irvine, go back to the desert prison. No, it's your father's orders. I'm taking you back to Dillon City. Ouch! Are you crazy? We have to go back and help everyone! <laughs> How'd you jump out the front like that? They'll be fine. I'm sure they can get out of there when the time comes. You don't know for sure, Irvine, this is why you're also a dick. Squall might be say, they, but no one has ordered me to escape and end up staying in there. We can't have that, we have to help them. I don't care if I have to force you back. Yeah, Irvine was gonna leave us in prison. What a douche. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, okay, okay, I'll go, I'll go. I mean, yeah, we would have broken out of this, sure, but still. We were in the process of breaking out when they found us, but hey. It's, it's bad. Bad Irvine! Squall's ring? I don't know where he bought it. Probably the dollar store. How about the same one? It looks really cool, doesn't it? You mean the one with some monster carved on it? Yeah! Alright, how about I make you one? I'm pretty good at that kind of stuff. Really? Okay, sure! Let's have Skull show us the real thing. We can't do that. Why not? It's embarrassing. Say what? Let go! Oh! 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 No, no, it's, it's not what you think. It's what everyone thinks. I'm just gonna do a little turn now, you whip my hair. Hello, and that wasn't it. That was too far back. I'm sorry, let me try again. I do like how they show some scenes that we weren't there for. Where am I? You're... Renoa. This isn't Renoa. Well, no shit. Oh, my loyal knight Cypher. The sorceress is alive. The sorceress demands. Ultimacia? The future sorceress is inside Renoa? Transfer from an idea? Oh, I guess I kind of spoiled that earlier, huh? When I said the only thing on Renoa's mind is Ultima C controlling her. Huh. I mean, it's not that kind of hard to figure out the hell's going on. Where's Renoa? Find the lo legendary lunatic Pandora, said to be hidden beneath the ocean. Only then shall the sorceress provide you with dreams again.
Renoa, where are you? Answer me. I mean, dog, it's kind of like, what's going on? As you wish, Ultimacia. Cypher, you're a dick. Squall, I'm scared. Renoa! Who's there? Get out! Renoa! Alone! Yeah, it probably wasn't a good idea to put her in the same body as, uh... Ultima Sia, right? I guess we technically didn't know. Did you get to find out what happened to Renoa? Were you able to change the past? I couldn't do anything. What should I do? I remember those eyes. You just looked at me with the same eyes you had when you were little. Those curious, innocent, puppy dog eyes. I love those eyes. This, that's the past. That's right. What's important is right now. I finally realized that. I have to help Renoa. That's the only thing I do, right? Yes, talk to her, Squall. Your voice, voice may not reach her, but your heart will. Guess this is a JRPG. Are you ready? I'm taking you to the nearest past, to the closest present to the future. Yeah, that's a pretty horrible closest to the present. Remaining life support system, 15 seconds. Am I gonna make it? How? I can't do anything. Drifting endlessly. Well, for at the very least seven more minutes after that auction supply is gone. I'm helpless. Well, six usually is when the brain dies, right? Remaining life support, zero. Or starts dying. Usually can't revive after that amount of time, though. Not without permanent damage. No. I'm... That's it. I'm gonna... I'm gonna die. What a awful way to go. I feel like I've been saying that a lot in my... <laughs> in my LLPs recently. But still, what an awful way to go. Life support has been terminated. Goodbye. I mean... Yeah, I don't know. Like, yeah, it's just... At least it'd be kind... Not quick. It wouldn't be quick at all. It'd be hell. Renoa, no! Waiting for your auction to run out and the suffocating death would actually be such a horrible experience. Don't give up! Dots? Can you hear me? It's Squall. Renoa! Renoa! I actually think she just kind of drifts here for like a minute <laughs> or so. I don't know if there's any text, but... I mean, we have saw it in the past with Laguna, Karos, and Ward, right? Where, like, Squall would say something like, Oh, this is stupid, and be like, Oh, the fairies are here, again. Renoa, come on! Try to remember! Try to remember what? Renoa, I'm I'm right there with you. Listen to me.
imagine she would have broken some bones too when like that lunatic or the lunatic cry shit happened near her and blew her away. Maybe not broken, but probably would have hurt, right? It's enough force to, I mean, there's no gravity in space, but still, it blew her away. And she was right next to it, too. Oh, this is the, yeah, this is where she uh, floats around for, like, a minute. It's a traumatic, like, scene, for sure, especially if you're a fan of Renoa, but, like, I don't know, it kind of it takes too long. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a good, it's a good scene. If this was a movie, I'd probably be like, oh, my God. Actually, I don't really get too emotional in movies. Unless pets are involved. Then I stop watching. <laughs> oh, shit. That's why Squall wants to get her back. She still has a ring! I'm still... Alive? It takes a little while, Renoa. When you run out of air. There's still oxygen in there somewhere, a little bit. Squall? There you go. You got five more minutes of air time. Some people complain about this scene, like, it's kind of absurd that she just did that. Um, yeah, she doesn't know about the emergency oxygen supply, but I think that's kind of implied that Squall's in her being like, Hey, air supply, air supply, you have emergency air supply, come on now! And that, that's kind of the connection that goes there. Um, I don't find it absurd. Out of everything that happens, I definitely don't find that absurd. He didn't need my help at all. Thanks, sis. <laughs> so I'll be like, where the hell are you going? My gosh, he's going? Idiot, there's no way he can get back. He's insane. He's going to run out of fuel and life support in no time. They're both going to die. Yeah. Well, maybe that's what he wants. I don't know. I don't think I've ever been in that love. The you know, like I'm gonna go die with my lover in space, even though they're technically not even lovers yeah. at this point. <laughs> yeah, they're not even lovers. They have a crush on each other right now. Well, okay. I guess technically they don't know they have a crush on each other. All right, so we gotta yeah get her into. I'm gonna find you no matter what. We need to get her into the center of the screen. I just have to get her in front of her and catch her. Oh no, 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 don't, don't, I mean, we could try to speed up, I guess. There we go. Uh, it's not really getting in front of me, are, are you? Come on. Now, if you miss her, I'm pretty sure. There we go. Pretty sure you get the retry. But I think if you do it like too many times, you get a game over, which uh, is rude, to say the least. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure you get a you get to retry at least once. So come around here often, Squall. Thank you. I heard your voice. I can't believe it. Are we gonna make it? No. Don't worry. He's lying now. Out of fuel. Low on oxygen. Now what? Dying space? I'm so helpless. I can't even save for Noah? Come on, think. Really should have th thought before actually going out there. But hey, you know what, Squall? Since you're a protagonist, here's a goddamn spaceship.
Renoa, hold on. You know, I was saying I didn't find anything with uh, the Renoa scene absurd at that point. <laughs> you ever go into space and just float there and then get a goddamn airship, spaceship? Yeah. I mean, this is a little absurd. Uh, there are people that will mention that they lost the spaceship, like, I think it was... 17-ish years ago? Something like that? They lost it on, like, I think it was, like, a test flight or something. If I remember correctly. And they had a... Was it abandoned? Or did it just kind of get lost out of the docking bay or something? I don't know. I forget the exact reason how this thing got lost in space. We're just gonna leave for nowhere there, huh? <laughs> that was weird. But yeah, there is mention of a spaceship drifting around... Ragnarok. Spoilers game. Um, there is there is our NBCs that talk about a spaceship being uh, in space somewhere. It's still kind of absurd. <laughs> it is still kind of absurd. Maybe if they showed this get like blasted away from the lunar base or something when the when the the lunar cry hit it, I'd probably be like, oh, that's. That's okay. That's interesting. That, that's not that bad. But the fact that we just find it in space is overly convenient and hilarious. That is it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, when you have my video section, check out some of the content. See if you're liking. Once again, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great day.